No. He's renewing his intention. That's gotta be it. <laughs> Yo, man. What are you doing? Wake up. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah. Going? Uh, alhamdulillah, how's the fasting? Fasting, man. Alhamdulillah, it's been a blessing. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't feel it's like fasting. We need to start, start fasting on a regular basis. You yeah. Know? Yeah. How about Mondays and Thursdays, right? Oh, yeah. That's sunnah, right? Absolutely. A beautiful sunnah. That's right. So the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. Right. And that is why we are doing a really special program for the community. Um, every Thursday we try to fast, uh, and the program is called Fast and Learn. Right. Absolutely. And, and How's it going so far? So far good. Very good. Very positive feedback. A lot of people showing up. Alhamdulillah. Mm. And uh, we have... Uh, it's for brothers and sisters, right? That's right. As I heard last time. Okay. That's correct. So um, we have uh, next week a Jeopardy show. Jeopardy? Yes. Nice. Uh, we're gonna have a little buzzers. Oh yeah. Well, we're working on the buzzers, but uh, it's competition between brothers and sisters. Sisters are winning right now in the program. He's being favored to the sisters all the time, so um, that's, I mean, that's gotta be the case. They, they got skills, and uh, we're uh, in the middle of uh, the Surah Kahf, uh, so we're up to eight, verse number eighteen now. Nam. Alhamdulillah. You memorize them, right? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Alhamdulillah. Not that's there good. yet, but inshallah. inshallah. And uh, that's one of our goals, actually, to help everybody memorize the surah okay. or at least the first ten ayat. Inshallah. Uh, so uh, next week, we're gonna be doing the Jeopardy, and okay. uh, this is a challenge for all those that have been t that have been attending, and th those who haven't attended, please join us. What are some of the reviews you got from? Uh... Okay, so a uh, couple of things that we talked about so far in Surah Kahf, uh, we talked about the importance of Tawheed, mm -hmm. the message of oneness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Right. Uh, we discussed uh, what is the role of revelation in, uh, in okay. a human being's life. Revelation, the Quran. Uh, what does that mean to a lot of people? Um, you know, until we understand the role right. of the revelation in our life, it'll be really tough to understand our main purpose in life. So before before we transform ourselves, we have to understand the Quran to transform ourselves, right? Exactly. I okay. mean, Quran Absolutely. can literally transform uh, communities, societies, and the whole world. Inshallah. Starting from one person. One person. Starting from one day at a time. That's right. Thursdays. Thursdays. That's right. Absolutely. So if we can uh, make this a regular habit and, and join uh, join this program and also bring others, Inshallah. this could really turn uh, a lot of benefit towards the community, especially the fact that we're opening it to couples uh, who've just gotten married, even if you have kids. Uh, you know, Babysitting. Bring, yeah, we've got to provide babysitting. Right, absolutely. It's we're coming working. out soon. Yeah. And, um, you know, high school ages, university students, anybody who wants to come, they will benefit and enjoy this program. It's very interactive and unique. Um, also, uh, we talked about the people of the cave. Nice. So, you remember being there? Yes. Any um, thoughts? Any thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> well, only thing I can think about from, uh, as Brother Omar mentions from this program, is that how important it is that Allah SWT is sending us this kind of programs in our doors. And sometimes we get into these Facebooks and we get into our social media areas and we see these posts and uh, events coming up. And a lot of the times we're so caught up and we're so busy and not paying attention to it. So let us let us understand that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is sending these programs in your doors, in your you know in your life, and saying, okay, here you're always looking for guidance, you're always looking for happiness, you're trying to find that tranquility in your heart, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is knocking on your door, saying, okay, look, come to the program, or go to these events, or go to these lectures, and not just our programs, but any, every other programs around the community. Definitely, you should be able to come through and um, be taking taking you know uh, advantage of that. We're, we're not just giving out a lecture, but we also hope to practically Absolutely. give you things that you will implement in your life. For example, memorizing the, uh, the 10 verses of Surah Kahf, changing something about yourself uh, from one week to the next week, ma making you a better Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, bringing others to Islam, giving you da da'wah techniques, how to give da'wah techniques Absolutely. to your family, to the wider community. So, I mean, it's, it's more than just a lecture. And uh, that's, that's why full we... full package, huh? It's full package. Hum, SubhanAllah. Uh, something about the people of the cave that we wanted to share from uh, last week that we discussed is uh, we discussed in detail how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala protected the people of the cave because they made a conscious decision to start worshiping Allah Subhanahu wa Taala yeah. even though their whole community was against them. Oh. Their community was pushing them out and uh, boycotting them, and they wanted them to be punished because they decided to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So these people took uh, shelter in a cave. There's so many ways Allah Subhanahu wa Taala protected them, and the lesson is that when you take a step towards uh, guidance towards going towards Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He will send many ways for you to be protected. We hope uh, we can uh, attain the same type of tranquility, uh, not just Inshallah. in Ramadan and continuously on a weekly basis after Ramadan. And that is why we have the fast and learn. To and look at the beauty of it is that after we finish Ramadan, you will continue to uh, accept the fasting 
practice throughout uh, the week, you know. So Mondays and Absolutely. Thursdays, but at least, you know, Thursdays with us. And we also learn, uh, you know, break our fast together. And it's a great feeling. And uh, we really challenge you to come next week for the Jeopardy challenge Tamam. between the brothers and sisters. And let's brothers are going to win this time. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I mean, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm totally relying on this. Uh, brothers going to win. The sisters have uh, had the lead since we started this program, but inshallah we're taking No, actually we had the lead, then, and then you somehow, you know, favored them. No, it's, yeah. I think. It's biased sometimes. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's uh, put it to test in the real Jeopardy show next week. And uh, this is a Sudo Kahaf Jeopardy test tomorrow, or next week. And uh, we'll have more, inshallah, for you. There's Absolutely. a lot more topics coming. Don't worry. And keep your uh, emails coming at uh, our email address at the bottom right now. Okay. Umayyuth at gmail.com. And tell other people about this program. Tell others. Post on Facebook. And uh, bring your sisters if you have in the house that are sitting doing nothing. Bring your wives. Inshallah, uh, bring the whole family if you like. Yep. And definitely it will be an uh, awesome program. All right, this is Omar and Kibria saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do you have you in you?